The world's oldest travel firm, Thomas Cook, has collapsed. Thomas Cook has collapsed. Collapse. Collapse. Collapse of a travel giant. On the 23rd of September, after more than 100 years in operation, Thomas Cook, one of the world's biggest and oldest travel brands, with almost 20 million annual customers, filed for bankruptcy. At that point, it had more than 2 billion US dollars in debt. As a result, more than 20,000 employees are jobless and 600,000 holidaymakers were left stranded worldwide, triggering Britain's biggest repatriation since World War II. So what happened? How could this travel giant collapse at a time when tourism is bigger than ever? The Thomas Cook Group was a travel company that made its money by offering a one-stop shop for travellers. Everything you need from flight to hotel to local transport to tours and even meals were covered in a single package. It even operated its own hotels and airlines. This concept worked for a long time but is gradually declining. Nowadays, with just a click of a button, you can find out what are the best spots to visit. And to get there, there's cheap ride hailing like Uber. Plus, with Airbnb, you can have a whole apartment to yourself at a cheaper price than a single hotel room. You are seeing all of these digital businesses which are debundling the package holiday as we know it. It is a market that is going to die. It is just a matter of time. In 2003, the company started Thomas Cook Airlines. It had 34 planes in its fleet. According to many experts, that was the major reason for Thomas Cook's problems. Operating a travel agency is one thing, running a profitable airline is another. Each has its own risks. Just ask these standalone airlines who have gone bust over the years. Thomas Cook Airlines operated more like charter flights than commercial airline operations. While the latter operates at high frequency all year long, the former relied heavily on holiday season alone. To make matters worse, when you have a few bad summers either because of heat waves or Brexit or turmoil in top destinations like Greece and Egypt, it can surely cripple a company. Another key factor to the company's demise is its merger with MyTravel, a UK-based package travel company in 2007. What had initially started out with hope ended up in disaster. My Travel was already struggling at the time of the merger. In fact, it only made profit once since 2001. Thomas Cook was being overly optimistic about it and paid the price. The impact of the merger peaked in May after Thomas Cook reported a record loss of £1.5 billion for the first half of its financial year. £1.1 billion of that loss is due to the decision to write down the value of My Travel. With the presence of low-cost airlines like EasyJet and Ryanair, the price of flight tickets has been reduced significantly. You don't need to go through a travel agent to keep costs low, and so people have increasingly been removing the middleman. 